Hello everyone and welcome back to Valiant Hearts The Great War, episode 9. It has been a damn while, it has been almost two months since I last recorded the video. There's been a lot of change in my life. I've moved country back to my home country, I found a job, worked, I was quite tired but finally found some time to start making videos again and yeah, I just want to enjoy playing games and share it with you guys whoever's watching <laughs> let's see my darling war has taken away a very dear friend he was like a brother to me and his death affects me much more than I could imagine in happier news Carl is safe from the trenches and his condition improves steadily I'll go and see him on my next leave and what about you? How are you? Are things in St. Miel any better? Carl discovered things were not, in fact, any better. According to Marie's last letter, his son had fallen gravely ill. Yeah. Carl had come to a decision. This war would never end. He had to escape. It has been such a long time. I forgot how to even play this game. Okay, so F is the hit. This is the move around. Three cutters, and they're in there. The dog wants some juicy steak. Let's go all the way to the left first. Should I? No, I should go back. Let's see what did we get. Life from prisoner of war camps. Ah, oh, yeah. Now I remember. Even in captivity, class differences still counted. Some camps were reserved for officers and others for foot soldiers. Prisoners were generally underfed, even more so if the local population was also undernourished. Prisoners of war replaced civilians at the front and were forced to work in munitions factories and farms or down mines. <coughs> Let's see what can we get here. Hopefully some meat. What do you want? What's that? Some herbs. Some watering. Oh, there's the meat on the left. What you want? Huh? It's time. Okay, so we don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. Okay. So I don't, I don't think I can do much here. Do I go here? Where I was sleeping? Ah, oh, that's the thing. Top right. Okay, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, collectible. I'll look at it later. Uh, can I go to the right? I can't. Let's go all the way to the left. Can I use the restroom? The Dixie? Yeah. Okay, mm. I need to throw something <laughs> into there. Okay, okay. For water. Ah, so he Into can shower. Okay. Yes, yes, friend. Oh, this. This, 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 this. Okay, hopefully, finally some progression. So I'm not just going up and down non-stop. Still no water. Maybe something's up here. Let's see. Ooh, a puzzle. Okay, yeah. 
gotta do it like this. What is this then? Changes these. And then one more. Okay. If I do it like this, and then turn this one. Oh, did I miss the one? So this one has to be like this. What does this one turn? This one. Oh, the left one as well it turns. Okay, okay. Hey, I did it. Very nice. Now there should be water, man. Hell yeah. Ah, now I get this. Very nice. I can go back. <coughs> Actually, I put this game off for too long. But I really want to finish it. Because it's really interesting. And, uh,. I want to see how it turns out. Who do I give this to? Not to you, right? Oh, you need that. Okay. Maybe to that officer? Let's just check what's all the way down here. Because there's one more thing. Hello? Okay. Let's see, new diary unlocked. Where? We found a German identification tag and letter from a Hungarian prisoner. If you guys want to go into more details, you can always pause the video and uh, read things through. What will he give me? <coughs> Come on. This way. Oh. Another one? Yeah, yeah. Good command. Very nice. This so I can go into the uh, where the soldiers are sleeping. Like I'm in a disguise. This is the water one, the this one. Okay, let's go to that one then, yeah. Is it this one? One of them. Nice. Now we go to this one that's cutting the. What's he cutting? No, no. Looks like radish. I don't know. So, do I now pick this up and knock one by one? Step back. There we go. One more. There. And a speed. The meat for the doggo. Here you go, boy. There we go. Bolt cutters. The fallen dogs go free. Huh? He fell in love with the. Old cutters, what? <laughs> oh, we're gonna escape now. Come. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do we hide in the bush? We do hide in the bush. Now we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh. Quickly, quickly. Oh, I 
that's where we're gonna get caught. Did I fail? Oh, I have to fail. Apparently it was meant to happen. August 1914, France. <laughs> Freddy. Is he having a dream? Or just flashbacks? <laughs> it looks so funny in the Oof. I mean that of course this is not of course funny, but just that face so funny. We are fine. And Doggo is safe. Oh, do we pay us the dog now? Or what? for the dog hey, when you press it. Okay, we need a fuse and then this to turn on. Oh yeah, we left up here where the tank was. Oh, oh man, you alright? Eh, you'll be fine. Oh, you have the fuse. Very nice. Good dog kiss. Okay. Oh, okay. He has to do it. I thought he was handing it over to me. Oh, we need that. Spring. Oh, are we gonna drive the tank? Actually, sick. Action completed. Okay. Ooh. I got a dagger. Okay, let's see. What now? This. Huh. Do I. Why? Throw this up there. That's the question. I don't think. Maybe I have to be on this and the dog pulls it. Okay, this when it goes back. Oh my god. Get away. So bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? A spray? Or what is this thing? It looks like a spring. It acts like a spring. Sounds like one as well. So we need one more, yeah? I think it showed that it was up. Oh, we got that one. Armored vehicles. Assault artillery was invented during the war in an attempt to break through enemy lines. The first prototypes of armored vehicle appeared. Generals noted the ve that vehicles fitted with wheels were ineffective in a trench environment. Engineers thus worked on prototypes to overcome the problem. Caterpillar tracks proved to be the perfect solution to the problem. Right. Maybe 
Sorry if I'm annoying someone with this collectibles. What the fuck is that? The rat? Why this? Wait, it says a dead rat wasn't garbage. Especially a dead rat on a square which would be spit roasted for dinner. You can't be. You can't reason with a starving man. That's true. No Man's Land. No Man's Land was the zone located between the Allied and enemy trenches. Distance varied between 50 and 1,500 yards. The zone was watched closely by day, and anyone venturing out would be shot. But by night, it became a theater of espionage, when barbed wire and traps were set to protect trenches. Most battle casualties resulted in this zone. Of course. Let's see. That changed the arrow to there. Okay. What is this? Okay, okay. Aha, he needs it like that. So if I do it like this and then change the triangle like this, it should be what he's looking for this one probably not enough of a spike out there on the top right. Let's try it. Okay. 
So do I have to go up here, pull that one so it goes across? And then... Oh. That. Oh, it resets. Okay, okay, okay. Just have to time it. Do it now. Hell yeah. Oh, I can aim up and down. Is this effective? Run, lad, run. Given a hero's welcome by the French forces, Emile wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free and out of harm's way. Freddy nice. and Emile's reunion, however, would be short-lived. Anyways, it still went from like May fourteenth, nineteen sixteen. Freddy was sent to, to the Somme, while Emile's regiment was quartered near a small village at the top of a hill. The village was called Vauquois. Vauquois. I will forget that, and I'll this say it wrong. This is conflict had all the time. ground. Holed up in their trenches, the two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun. Should be interesting. In the next episode. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching, it has been such a long while and I'm sorry for not recording and uploading. But I'm back and I'm so excited to continue making videos, hopefully I get more and more people to watch them. But thank you so much for watching, leave a like, subscribe, comment, share and I'll see you in the next video.